Well, good Saturday to you. It's Dan. It's me. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord of mercy, I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. But you know what? I got something I just need to show y'all. I'm about excited as I'll get out. So give me a second and I'm going to show you. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's rock on into this. Let me ask you this. How many folks like to use bacon in things that they cook? I know I like to use bacon to season my red beans, my white beans. I like to put uh, bacon in my purple whole peas. I, I use uh, bacon to wrap chicken with, and then I just, you know, I wrap all kind of stuff with bacon. Bacon's just good, seasons things up like real good, real good. What I got the hold of is right here, and I want to show you and explain to you how I save money on buying this to season all my food with. So let me point you down. All right, y'all, what I have here is, isn't that pretty? Some bacon end pieces, and that's all they are. Bacon end pieces, look at that, that meat and that fat on that bacon. I mean, look at that. You want to talk about make for some some fine seasoning and whatever you're gonna cook, your red beans, purple whole peas, just peas in general. And this is about eight and a half pounds of bacon in pieces. Now, of course, they have, you know, just you got some little slivers of bacon, stuff like that. I bought this for, can you see that? Eight bucks, y'all, I paid eight bucks for it. Here's the kicker. It's eight and a half pounds of bacon in pieces or seasoning, I call it seasoning bacon. Paid eight bucks for it. And you basically break it down to, I don't know, a dollar a pound or something like that. If you go to your local grocery store and you try to find like some all giles or stuff like that, or seasoning bacon, cured bacon, stuff like that, just for seasoning, you finna pay three, four dollars, five dollars for a little bit of old small pack of it. So this is how I actually save money on my seasoning meats. Now what I intend to do with this stuff right here, I actually have two of them. I have 16, 17 pounds of bacon in pieces. I am gonna start making my own uh, deer sausage and like a green onion pork sausage. I'm gonna start making my own pork sausage and uh, my own sausage just in general. And I'm gonna use a lot of this pork to add in to my venison when I do my sausage, my deer sausage. I have, I'm waiting on some of my equipment to come in to, to get started, but that's gonna be another video. I'm excited as I'll get out about that. But I wanted to share with y'all how I actually save money on my meat seasonings that I use to cook with. If you have a, a, a local butcher or a meat shop in your area, go on and ask them if, uh, what do they do with the end pieces of the bacon? You know, what do y'all do with it? A local store near me, a local country store near me, they save all of their bacon in pieces. And I'm here to tell you, people get on a waiting list to get a hold of this stuff right here because it's so good. If I'm not mistaken, this is Wright's bacon. I don't know if everybody had, gets, can get uh, Wright's bacon uh, near your home place or your, your homestead. But uh, here in Mississippi, Wright's bacon is pretty popular bacon. It's a thick cut bacon. It's smoked real good and it's just an all around good bacon. What I intend to do with these bacon end pieces is I'm probably gonna weigh these, these pieces off. I'm gonna do them in one pound increments. I'm gonna weigh one pound exactly. And I'm gonna vacuum seal these, ba these bacon end pieces and I'm gonna put them in deep freeze until it's time to start making my deer sausage. So I wanted to share this with y'all and just show you how I actually save a little bit, well, a lot of money on, uh, stuff I use to season some of my food, and pork that I'm gonna to use to do my deer sausages. So, real short video. I just thought I'd share that with you. And it could be a good uh, way for you, you and you and y'all, to save money on uh, your seasonings if you like to cook with bacon in some of your dishes. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up helped me. Y'all ain't, if y'all ain't come over here to the Home of Sticks and give me a look now, you need to because, you know, Dan's always doing stuff, like really always doing stuff. And with that being said, you know I'm going to say it, I always say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on.
especially when you're fitting to start cooking with some bacon and pieces. And we'll see you and y'all in the next video.